Welcome to the Jabron Show. I'm your host, Jabron. And this is the story of when I met Ray J. So, this happened 2001, 2002, not 2001. 2002, 2003, 2004. Can't remember exactly the year. I was doing x rays in Detroit for an agency, and I was working at Grace Hospital on Myers and Six Mile. And I was getting off work. So it was like 536. Don't actually remember. And this story is not verbatim. Like, I don't remember exactly what Ray J said word for word. Telling you the story is my memory presents it. Okay. So, again. Grace Hospital, I'm getting off work. Got my scrubs on, probably got on K-Swiss. Got my lab jacket on, my radiology badge or whatever, how you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm coming down the escalators. And at that time, I haven't been to this hospital in years, so I don't know how it's set up now. But at that time, I had an elevator going up and an elevator going down into a glass lobby entrance atrium whatever have you and at that far end was the entrance so turn around doors and doors open and where the valet park and all that people come in so here i am getting off work i'm on the escalator going down and I see who I think is someone that I knew from a long time ago that I didn't see in a long time, right? Now, at the time, I didn't think it was Ray J, right? I had seen this nigga on TV so many times that I thought that I knew the guy. <laughs> and I just didn't see him in a long time, right? So I'm coming down the elevator right i get off the escalator and i'm walking and i see him right and it was just like you would see because i was thinking it was someone that i knew and i hadn't seen him in a long time so he walking and i'm walking and i go what up though and he go now again this is not verbatim i don't remember exactly what ray j said word for word, but this is encapsulated into what I remember. Here to see somebody, you know, here to see somebody. So anybody who's thinking like, oh, Ray J does, oh, motherfucker. I don't follow like whatever Ray J doing. I'm just saying, right? If you think like Ray J, oh, this nigga, he don't give a fuck about nobody. This nigga was at a hospital. He didn't have no security. He didn't have no bitches with him. He had no niggas with him. It was just Ray J. Right? And I, again, I just thought this nigga was a nigga that I knew and I hadn't seen him. So he tells me he here to see somebody. And I go like, Oh, I hope they get better or what have you, blah, blah. I mean, we were standing there in the fucking lobby and shit, right? And he asked, you know, he say, what up with you? And I go, shit, finna get off, find me a fucking 40 and chill the fuck out, whatever, you know, whatever. And then it was, and he went and I went on out. And it wasn't until like maybe a day or two later, I was Damn, that was Ray J. <laughs> I was like, but I'm glad I didn't like trip and shit and be like, it's Ray J, right? Because I, I just thought it was like a nigga I knew 
And I hope that he, and you can ask this nigga, because he did. He was at this hospital seeing somebody. And that's something you remember. That's not something like, I don't give a fuck who you, famous. This nigga was at 6 o'clock, 5.30 in the afternoon. You were seeing somebody in Detroit at Grace Hospital. I bet you he remember that shit. I bet you he'll tell you. I, it was some nigga that stopped me. <laughs> and I kicked it with a nigga. Yeah, it was a nigga. Yeah, he had on. Yep, yeah, nigga worked there. Yep. Yeah. Because he just was like, I mean, he didn't, he didn't treat me like, nigga, what are you talking about? Nigga, I don't know you or whatever. He just was like, yeah, da, da, da. And it was really natural. And it was, again, until later, I was like, that was fucking raving. Which brings me to the fact that me being disabled, I miss my occupation. I miss working. I wish, cause my job, my occupation, x-ray, gave me such joy. I mean, I saw and did a lot of things. Look, look, look. I met Ray J. I met a lot of people during my career in medical field, in the medical field. And I wish that I could still do that. So that's my story about when I met Ray J. Ask that nigga, he'll tell you. He probably remember that shit because he was at the hospital seeing somebody. You don't forget that shit. I'm like, yeah, I remember that nigga. He did stop me and shit. Uh, or I don't know if I stopped him. It's more so that we passed each other and we said what up to each other and shit and acknowledged each other. I, but I didn't acknowledge him as Ray J because I didn't fucking know he was Ray J. I thought he was a nigga from the hood that I fucking hadn't seen in a long time, which he was a nigga from the hood that I hadn't seen because I'm glad that he was doing good, right? There's no stupid shit. So tune into the Jabron show for more stories like that because I've met a lot of people because I worked. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't in jail or nothing like that. I worked for a long, long time. And shit. So I got a lot of fucking stories about all kind of crazy shit. Or just regular things like meeting Ray J, coming out of the hospital, getting off work. It's a Jabron show. Tune in. I need your support. Like uh, Dion Cole with that song. Make my shit viral. I mean, I'm not Dion Cole. Dion Cole got a lot more money than me and shit. Dion, why don't you push my shit too? I'm an x-ray technician. I'm disabled. I need help, nigga. I'm an artist. I need help. I'm not trying to be famous. I'm just trying to make my life better than just what do I want me to sit at the fucking house and shit. Fuck. I can't do it. I refuse <laughs> to lose. I got so much trouble on my mind. I ref Never mind. I got it in me. Jabron Show. Tune in on YouTube. Peace. Have a good day.